We know based on research that students um, lack the attention span that they used to have for reading long chunks of text. So um, uh, I actually have them read Nicholas Carr's as Google Making Us Stupid um, right in the first week just to talk about what is happening to our brain in terms of our reading comprehension and our patience with long texts. Uh, I think separating the text into small chunks helps us to combat that a little bit. Um, it, uh, it, it enables them to have manageable, they can, they can figure out, okay, this is what I need to do on, on Wednesday. It's 100, 100 words maybe. Um, very easy for them to manage and, and digest before they move on to the next chunk of information. Um, similar to paragraphing, right? When, you're, when, when students write these big long paragraphs in an essay, I say give your reader a break. Let them you know, pause at the next paragraph, think about what you've just said to them before they move on to the next reading task. Because of the difficulties that they have with reading and their tendency to space out, I think whatever you can apply, um, give to the, provide for them visually is important. And, and you know, with the audit, auditory stuff too. So if you're giving them a PowerPoint lecture, instead of giving them all text, images to complement the small chunks of text and the audio over top of it, uh, I think is much more meaningful for them.